In this morning's Health Watch, superior autobiographical memory. That's what scientists are calling an extremely rare phenomenon in which people can recall nearly every day of their lives in extraordinary detail. Only six people in the world have been confirmed to have this kind of ability so far, and one of them is actress Mary Lou Henner. She and the others were profiled last night on 60 Minutes. Like these shoes, I wore them October the, the first time I wore them October 18th, 2007. These I wore on uh, April the 21st of this year, so that was a Tuesday. Um, oh, these shoes I got a long time ago, 1982. I got them on April the 9th, so that was a Friday of 1982. Very cute shoes in her closet. Mary Lou Henner, great to have you with us. Great. I'm so glad you showed that clip because we shot this last year. And so when I said April 21st, it was a Tuesday. That was of 2009 because April 21st, 2000, 2010 was a Wednesday, just to make the, the whole thing clear. But, but you're it's already taken a while. giving us a glimpse into how, how all of this stuff works because you're saying Tuesday and Wednesday and last year. I mean, explain for those of us who are new to all of this. You know, you know it's so it funny. It, it's so incredible because I've always had a great memory. You know, people always tease me about it for years and it was always kind of my thing and I remember being a little girl and being able to say what did I do a week ago two weeks ago three weeks ago a year ago and it, as I grew up you know it was like oh well what did I do when I was exactly my brother's age my younger mm. brother's age you know and I would just remember things and so it was this kind of skill that I developed but I liked doing it as well you know so I think it was a real combination of nature and nurture I mean they explained last night which was the first time I heard it that we had a certain area of our brains that's larger than most people's but I know that it's also been a muscle that I've exercised, mm -hmm. you know, muscle. Uh, You've used you it. You've I've actually used it. consciously used it. Yes, and so what happens is um, some of the people, because even among the six of us, there are differences. A lot of the people described, although you probably didn't see it last night. Oh, I did. No, 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 you didn't see them talk about this, oh, okay. how people visualize it. A lot of the people visualize it sort of in a calendar way, like calendar pages. For me, the closest thing to it, is kind of like selected scenes on a DVD. You mm -hmm. know when you see that? Okay, so if you name a year, all of a sudden the entire year sort of like lays itself out in chronological order and each day is a different selected scene and some of them are more vivid than others but I can go to each day and it sort of comes up. Do you, you mind know? if and we so, try it? Try, give me a year. I'm really curious. Okay, so. But give me a good year. Don't okay. don't pick a year I was divorced. Getting oh, okay. a divorce. <laughs> okay. Well, I, I honestly couldn't tell you exactly. Okay. But uh, let's say 1975. Okay. So 1975. All right. So 1975, um, and which was a while ago. Okay. <laughs> so I start to see like the whole year sort of lays itself out, and I go, okay. Uh, well, let's say my birthday was on a Sunday that year. That was April 6th, and uh, Christmas was on a Thursday that year, uh, and uh, Thanksgiving was on uh, uh, Thanksgiving was on the. Uh, 27th that year and you know so it starts to come in uh, my first date with a boyfriend was August the 12th you know oh it's goodness. like it starts to go like that so I start to fill in different days in that year you know and different events and I went I was I uh, started on uh, the Broadway show Chicago, uh, Greece you know I mean I could mm -hmm. go through my entire year for sure. you if you want but it you know that would be boring <laughs> it's, it's really incredible yeah. what you're doing here and it's almost like when I watch you here on set it's almost like you're visualizing it like you're not seeing me in front of you instead you're seeing these days right exactly exactly so you know it's it's it, it is and I'm back there it's like time travel I'm back looking through my eyes like I see what I was wearing the date of that first date that I <laughs> randomly pulled out it was a Tuesday but I pulled it out and I know exactly what I was wearing and where we went to, to dinner and you know and people would say well it sounds like you've had a very exciting life well even the most mundane things mm -hmm. I remember. So it just kind of lines up that way. I want to make sure we have time to talk about the book you're writing. Oh, yes. You are writing a book about this, and you also want to help people. I do, because I know that there are certain things that people could learn to do to sort of take in the information, be able to absorb it, and then be able to retrieve it. Now, I probably, I probably can't give anybody, in fact, I know I can't, superior autobiographical memory like the six of us have, but I know that I could definitely help people. And it's funny, in the tease, you said an unforgettable life, because I was telling Mary Carr, uh, Marie Carr, that 
that uh, the name of my book is An Unforgettable Life, Yours. Mm. Uh, lessons Learned from an Autobiographical Memory. Um, because it's so important to be able to help people. Yes. And to, you know, we're having so many people forget things nowadays. And I know that, you know, people are sometimes afraid of memories, but they become emotional boogeymen. Right. If you don't want to remember. So you empower yourself more if you remember. If Look you for the remember. book this yeah. coming year. This coming year. It'll be out in the spring. And you will feel yes, empowered. Yes, yes, yes. Mary Lee, thank <laughs> you right. so much. This has been really phenomenal. Oh, thank you.